Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Thomas Creations and More, where today I will be sharing with you my swap that I received from Marshall over at Creative Christian Crafters. It's a Facebook group where we had a swap. Let me take a seat. Oh man. Oh, sorry, it's not a very good back day today. Um where we had a swap um, for mini envelope tabs, um, which I made a uh, sharing of the ones that I made for her. And it's also a tutorial. If you're interested, I'm going to link it down in the description box. And so I haven't even opened it up. I just took it out of the package. And let's see what she sent me. So I'm excited for those of you that watched the, my video um, I put it up because she received hers for mine um, they're really cute envelope tag envelope tabs for your journal great way to use up scraps so okay oh my she really wrapped it really good okay sorry for the noise okay how cute! Here, let me read the note first. Let me put those down. If I can't see it, neither can you. <laughs> okay. Aw, it says you got this because God's got this. Aw, Carrie Ann would love that. Just, uh, hope all is well with you and your family. Thank you so much for my mini envelope tabs. I love them. I hope you enjoy the ones I made for you. Many blessings, Marshall. Aw. This goes up in my holder. Okay. She included this as a goodie. How pretty. I love butterflies. And I love these Dollar Tree. I know these stickers because I buy them all the time. Dollar Tree stickers because they're like, they're not cardboard. I mean, not a chipboard, but they're thicker cardboard. And they have some substance to them. They're dimensional. And they have a little bit of sparkle here and there. Love them. Thank you, Marshall. Ooh, and some blingy bling. Love these. And these are, ooh, these are dimensional as well. They have a little bit of foam and sticker. Thank you, thank you for my goodies. Now, how cute. Let me see. Oh, man. Okay, it's time to stand up again. <clears throat> That's what I was afraid of, so there we go. Um. So, let me bring you up the goodies because I didn't think you can see them. So, aren't they beautiful? They're the f my favorite stickers from Dollar Tree because uh, they're thick. Um, they're not chipboard, like I said. They're like um, cardboard of some sort. Not cardboard. Cardstock. There we go. Sorry. Like I said, it's a bad bag day. I already took my meds and I'm off. <laughs> a little off. Sorry, guys. Um, and they're a little bit dimensional see that so these are my favorite stickers from Dollar Tree sorry for the glare my light is on but it gives you a better picture and then she sent me the bling that I already has showed you but the it's dimensional has a little bit of dimension because it has some foamy in the back and they're adhesive and then look at what she sent me oh sorry there you go the envelope the mini envelope tabs let me see let me open it and let's have the little look love the way she presented them on a cardstock and i i don't know if she painted them or sprayed them because i don't know if you can see there's different colors in them and it looks like she distressed them on the edges i don't know if she painted it distressed it but i like that paper okay let's take this first one let me give you a little tour how beautiful i love butterflies and it oh it's wooden and she added some cheesecloth. And this is the back. And so these little tabs, you can open them up like this so you can have a journaling spot. And the way they work is that if you have a journal page or anything really, you sit them on the top and look, by some form of magic or something, they stay there. And they, they sit, look. And you don't have to add no nothing to them they sit and they're a little journaling spot like you can give them a little sweet little message so this is the first one she made beautiful put that there 
Oh, and she attached them, guys, to the cardstock with uh, using a very, let's see, they go come up uh, right there. Very little amount of double sided tape. And if you mess with it enough, it rolls right off. And so then it won't be sticky anymore. So love that. So this is the front. Sorry. It's very pretty. It's like a rosette trim that she trimmed off. And then it's like a lacy, like a tool, a very tight tool. And that's the front. This is the back. Ooh, I love the paper. So you open it up. And this one's double sided. The other one was white. Very, very nice. Next one. Another butterfly. Yay! I love butterflies. So it's a green butterfly with a little pearl accent. Then she put like a piece of yellow lace. This is the front. Love the papers. Open it up. This white. She distressed the edges. See the brown on the sides? Very, very nice. This one right here. How pretty. And she used some trim in the background. It's cream colored. And then a pink button. This is the front. And this is the back. You open it up. It's the front. Beautiful. Cheesecloth. And then, I don't know if you can see right there. That piece of lace. And then this is like, I don't know. I thought it was a bread. That's why I opened it. Um, you know those, um, what are they called? Soda. Soda top. It's a little round one where you can put your image and then you add epoxy. See how it's like, um, it has epoxy in it. Like the little clear thing in it, in it, um, shiny. I'm trying to remember the name. Like I said, I'm, I'm sorry guys, today. It's one of those days. Oh, this is the front. See? The back. Oh, how cute. Very nice. Sorry. Like I said, it's one of those days for me. <clears throat> the front. Beautiful flower with a little bling center. And then she put some blue lace. How neat. You know, that's why I love swapping. Because you always get great ideas. And I'll tell you which ones from which ones. Which things from each of the things that she sent me I learned. So this is the front. This is the back. She distressed the edges. Can you open it up? Oh, this is on like tea dye paper. Or she distressed the paper. So that will pick it up right there. It's a different color. Okay. I love, what I love about swapping is that I get um, <clears throat> ideas from everything. From the packaging to um, what things to send in um, Happy Mail. Uh, like goodies and stuff like that. For example, on her package i learned that look she just i don't know if she distressed or painted or i know she distressed this edge so that gives me an idea sometimes when i'm creating <clears throat> or um yeah when i'm creating my swaps or my journals and stuff like that i have pieces of coffee dyed paper tea dyed paper Things that um, sometimes I'll use and then I'll distress. And you see how you get the different colors here? Well, for me, as a crafter, as a journaler, sometimes um, <clears throat> we have a lot of scraps, right? Well, hello, Thelma. How come you hadn't thought of using it for the backing to put your swaps in because i always back it up with cardstock or you know some kind of paper so that gives me a way of using my scraps right if it happens to be the right size and it's something different and if they're a journal like me or a paper crafter it's a paper that they're not going to get anywhere else unless i send it to them because every dying every distressing every painting 
gives the paper a very unique one of a kind look. So just from this swap, I learned this. I learned that um, I didn't learn it from this swap. I've learned it from another swap before. But um, you see how the packaging has this toppers on it, right? Look what she did. She cut it off. And you will not believe how much it saves on the weight. How much it saves on the packaging. Because then it won't. For example, if you leave it, if she would have left that tab on there, that big tab that comes from the Dollar Tree, right? It won't fit in here. But just by cutting it off, it saves on weight and it'll fit in your envelope. So I didn't learn that tip from her. But uh, like I said, from every swap that I um, participate in or happy mail that I get, I learn little things like that. And it saves on postage. It saves you getting the bigger envelope. And then it just automatically bumps it up to a package instead of a partial and all that stuff. I get to learn <coughs> sometimes um, what to send in Happy Mail, right? Because we tend to, like for me, right, I would send the same things over and over. Um, but, you know, sometimes you get something out of the box and you think, oh, man, how come I didn't think of that? That's true. We use... Um, double-sided tape or you know like this is a bling that would be nice because then you know it links back to that how many times do we always need a bling you know so it gives you ideas for that on here look I learned something from every one of those things here let me bring it up she used a light blue pastel blue lace with a pink flower now me personally I would have never Ever. there we go I would have never put the light blue lace with the baby pink in a vintage brown um, paper why because I would think no it's pastel -y and and that's brown and in my eyes in my thinking I would have said it does not go like it will clash it's just not right and I'm sharing with you my perspective however look at how beautiful it looks and it does not clash and it does go together so like that right there inspired me like Thelma use different colors that you think you're gonna clash put it on there see how it looks and look it looks great so thank you Marshall for that the same thing here like I would have thought and then I, I would have thought like it's like vintage you right well it's like spring you paper but she distressed it and then she put, again, look at the color. Well, for me, right? I pay attention to everything. Uh, detail. I'm very detail-oriented. It's yellow. Like, it's a yellow, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, uh, mustardy color with a green. Again, that would not be colors that I would have chosen to put on something like this where I distress because I would have been like green, sage green, right? No. And then with a mustard yellow lace, no way would have I put them together. I would have put a cream color with a with a cream or a pink uh, butterfly or a white that I would distress the same color. But look, it works. Same thing here. She put cheesecloth and a piece of lace. And the piece of lace that's back here is light pink. It's not coming out on the video, but it's light pink right here. I would have never thought ever 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 to put light pink and then the cheesecloth and then this color and this I wouldn't have it's just you know like I said it's me we all have our style um, that we're kind of comfortable with and I just wouldn't have done it this one as well look at the colors in the background look at the paper she used whoops let me turn it. <clears throat> it's more springy right but she distressed the edges and guess what? It works. But I wouldn't have put the pink, the cream maybe, but not the pink button. I would have put a cream button. I would have put a brown button because it has brown here. But look at how well it works. So, a lesson for me. Lesson for me. <clears throat> Use what you have and mix them because it works. Look at the brown. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, and I'll be very honest, I wouldn't have put this, this trim on there why because it has pink and green and for me that would have been too loud for the brown colors here i would have stuck with a cream flower i would have stuck with something more subtle brown um 
because of the brown in the background. But look, it works. And it looks great. Here, I wouldn't have used this uh, veneer piece because I would have thought it's too big for this thing. But look, it works. And I, th I would have thought that it would have caused more bulk on the page. And it doesn't. It's flat. And it works. <coughs> so I guess my bottom line or what I'm trying to get across to you is giving you the re the many reasons or part of the reasons that I love to swap. Every swap that I do, I learn so many things. I learn so many things. I, I pay attention to all the details. I'm going to go out, sorry. I pay attention to the details, the packaging, because it inspires inspires me and it helps me become a better crafter I look at the details because all every little detail for me says a lot about the crafter their style the way they package things up um, you know the attention to details the color combinations for me I look because like I said I wouldn't have thought see the light blue the pink the green i wouldn't have thought i wouldn't have put them on there i know myself but it helps me see that sometimes we gotta think outside a box we gotta um open up our creative box if you will and look at other people's things be inspired by them look at what they use because sometimes i think oh man i only have this bright yellow you know this bright mustard yellow um <coughs> excuse me lace set that um somebody sent me in happy mail right and i don't even know how i'm gonna use it because that's not my color and i only do vintage and whatever however ever ever you want to say or we think but guess what look now i know it's like hey it'll work it'll work and you can't even really pay attention to that it's a mustard yellow it, it's just it works so what i'm trying to say is swap swap with anybody in any level um in any level and you know what the best people in my humble opinion to swap with is a beginning crafter and let me tell you why because they're beginners and they don't have the box that we have they don't they're not uh, picky they're not so constrained in their style because they haven't developed their style yet so you'll see different ways of doing things uh, you'll see um, them venture out and and do something as a back topper or do this or do that once you go along in your crafting um, life right or your crafting experience your crafting journey we kind of stand uh, tend to stay within our realm like oh I only do vintage oh I only do shabby oh I always use butterflies because I love butterflies right I only use pinks because that's my favorite color I only use the the teal the mint because that's my favorite color <coughs> and as a beginner you don't do that you venture out because you're still trying to find your quote unquote style <coughs> excuse me so swap 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 anything learn new things because you'll learn little tips and little things and ideas that that you won't learn by looking on pinterest by looking on youtube you'll learn it but it's i think it's totally different when you have it in your hand when you see how the colors play together like for example the light blue and the pink i would have said no way if i read it somewhere like hey if i even made a video say hey guys try uh, a light blue with a pink i would have been like uh yeah no i'm doing that but now i'm seeing i'm like hey it works with the vintage like it works really well it really works you know the veneer pieces I can use on here. The, you know this little um, I can't remember what they're called, but the shiny piece. Oh, it's too shiny, and I'm going for a vintage look, and, and it's not gonna look right. Well, you know what? It does. It does work because I'm seeing it. I'm not telling you. I'm seeing it in my hands. I'm looking at. It. I'm looking at the dimension. I'm seeing how weighty it is. I'm seeing how flat it'll work. I'm seeing how. Um, you know it works within the things that I'm looking at so 
looking at it on so thank you so much for stopping by my channel i hope that you enjoy me uh, sharing you with you the swaps that i received like i said it's my favorite thing to do is to do swaps because i learned so much from everybody all levels of crafting especially my beginners but i say my beginners you know my friends that are beginners um even the season ones i do learn but like i said we're more confined oh i only do this i don't do stink book i don't do this i don't like that color right and the beginners tend to do it all and branch out at least you know in my experience so again swap 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 um i am always up for a swap i love to be challenged i love to do things i haven't done before I love to meet new people via YouTube, via snail mail, email, and um, soon I will be doing some crafty things on Zoom. Stay tuned to my channel because um, a friend of mine here on YouTube um, has a great idea. Just a great idea. So stay tuned, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. What do you think about the wonderful mini envelope tabs that Marshall sent me? I think they're awesome. I learned so much from her swap. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any comments, questions. And, um, you know, keep going, guys. Keep going. There's always good in every day. And there's always a reason to have a good day. Have a great day. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.